There's a few different things that I want to talk about overall within this video. Let's dive directly into it. The first thing that I want to introduce is the model itself, the Ash Kelly Prime Number Solver. Up front, uh, it's called the Ash Kelly Prime Number Solver. I'm not the author of it. <laughs> My name is not Ash Kelly. Uh, and then so I want to point that out up front, right? And I want to dive deep into this video as to why Ash Kelly is not presenting these things uh, himself. And then so within these, within this, um, up front, the bottom line is, is that this is a deterministic prime number predictor that estimates the nth prime number with very high accuracy. Uh, I haven't been able to break it and uh, with my computer and my compute power. Uh, and then so the like theoretical threshold would be like um, it's possible that there would be, um, you know, some way to uh, break it. So like um, we'll say that it's an estimator, um, but in practice, right, like um, it, it does what it does. And it, it essentially, it breaks cryptography. It's the bottom line, right? Uh, you, you go through here. I, I tested it up to uh, the 10,000th prime, and it took me 41 seconds um, to, to solve all of them, 100th, 500th, 10th, uh, 1,000th, 5,000th, and 10,000th, uh, and zero error in any of them, 41 seconds. Um, so very well done overall there. And so kind of like the first part of this that I want to dive into is like, why is Ash Kelly not presenting this himself? Right. And like, uh, first of all, he doesn't know how, like that, that he's not ever published anything before. So that's kind of a big thing. Right. And, and I imagine that it's a barrier, like coming forth, like he, uh, he, I would imagine, I, I don't want to, you know, put uh, emotions or words onto him, but I would imagine that it's like um, a barrier to come forward with these things having been in, in um, that scenario and those shoes, right? Uh, and like, I, to me, it's a weird barrier. It's the weirdest barrier that could possibly ever exist. And that's why I want to talk about it specifically. Like, if this was like a, a Pokemon solver or a Pokemon game, <laughs> or like, here's a brand new video game, uh, the, like, he would know exactly what to do, like, and he'd be rolling in money, and, like, it would be all good, right? <laughs> and then uh, this is, like, here's uh, something that is, like, very unique, and, like, a lot of people have been trying for a long time to be able to solve this uh, in some way, shape, or form, and have, like, uh, you know, like, and there's a lot of thought that goes into what essentially this is overall um, and, and how he came up with it. Um, and then uh, I would imagine and, and I know from experience that like there's going to be people that are going to knock it, right? Because the very first thing is that this does not fit the, um, the what an academic de definition would want for uh, like a, a, like to say that pr uh, prime numbers have been solved would be a, a complete closed framework for the, the the algorithm which this is not right and and that is admitted but uh to me I, it's that goes into something that i've talked about a lot within this channel that um it works in practice but does it work in theory uh, is how academia works right and that's backwards <laughs> to me like and, and and here's a perfect example like a real world example that you're staring at it in the face right um yeah it works at, like uh you're going to say and make arguments against the theory behind it um and, and no, I can, we can address those, right? Um, but it works in practice. <laughs> it, it's cryptopic to cryptography up and down. It does what you want it to do um, in practice. If it doesn't fit your um, like your perfect mathematical theory, one hundred percent. Who cares? Like, I, I mean, it, that's not what the overall point of this is, right? Like, all of this is human construct overall. And that's the second thing that I want to get into within these. This is that like once you kind of wrap your head around and, and frame like these uh, problems and, and these equations and, and these things from that uh, angle, like there's nothing uh, like super uh, out there about being able to like actually solve it if you know like a line and a direction to prove it through, right? And, and to me, that's what um, AI and LMs and, and things like that and people utilizing more and more of these tools are able to utilize for those benefits, right? It, it mix up your knowledge gaps but it's like it's not going to solve 100 percent knowledge right <laughs> like you like you have to have uh, knowledge in the area and be able to know when to question the ai and when to roll with it uh but like having those skills and having like kind of the like intuition playing within it you you can do a lot <laughs> yeah and you can um navigate through these things i think like i mean there's like a uh, human hubris is what holds us back 
primarily, like more than anything else, is like what I want to get across, like within this. Like I like uh, to me, like a, like a perfect example, right? You look at um, the current situation with uh, China, and there's like um, a big agent model that, like, if you haven't heard of it already, I, I forget the name of it. It's uh, I know that the it translates into man in English, uh, which is interesting, but uh, I forget like the actual name of the the agent. But uh, it's like uh, apparently like, all of the influencers are talking about it that it's like beating the floor off of everything else that would exist, right? And it's partially open sourced and it's super cheap. And then like, uh, it's going to like wipe the floor with open AI up and down, et cetera, right? Um, and I believe all of that. <laughs> and uh, the reason being, and the thing is, is that like, again, like all of like these, I can't stress enough on this channel why I make every video that I do on this channel is to stress to you that all of this is just math, right? There's nothing that is preventing any person in the world from stepping up and doing these things. And you can see it in China, right? Uh, and then it's, you have two competing philosophies right now, which is like the, like to me, like I, I frame it very specifically as like the 1980s Gordon Gecko American exceptionalism. Like uh, we will just plow through, like break stuff, throw money at it and, and we can solve everything. <laughs> and the other end is like, uh, this is actual physics, bro. Uh, and then like uh, you can throw all the money that you want at it, but if you tackle it as an actual physics problem and then you, you uh, work with physics and you try to honestly all of these breakthroughs have some sort of advancement within the physics right which i'll talk uh, when i talk very specifically about this but uh when you focus on it and on an actual problem rather than a brute force problem rather than i can just throw money at it and elon musk it then uh you actually solve stuff they can and and oh it doesn't work 100 percent of the time and that's that's the mentality that i want to break right like uh, I mean, throwing ten trillion dollars at the problem, or throwing a, a ten smart people at the problem, like oh, for like you know, give me like uh, the like uh, Ramsey Bolton, right? Give me like forty smart dudes, like give me forty scientists, and then we'll go through and we'll we'll, we'll take out OpenAI right now, right? <laughs> like uh, it, it, like that is how you should actually be thinking about these things. And then so uh, let me dive specifically into his uh, prime number solver to do justice to it here. So very specifically, uh, it utilizes uh, harmonic frequencies. Um, and then that's like the, the um, bottom line within this. And I've talked about this briefly on my channel and, and I explore this within. So within AI geometry, I can prove out and I know that there is a relationship between topology, geometry, and frequencies. And I can prove it out up and down. Uh, I can do different things with frequencies. I, I don't understand the frequency part of the equation well enough to be able to, to dial it as well as he has in this particular instance, right? Like, like, like so the only modification that I've done to really to his main algorithm here is uh, the first one that he gave me is I just did some, like I reduced some of the frequencies here. Uh, and then uh, like uh, change some of the weighting. Um, and then um, from there you go through uh, and then it, you test the algorithm and it's exactly like here. Um, uh, you can add, add more, remove more. Again, this took 41 seconds for the 10,000th prime. And then so, which is uh, 104,729. <laughs> and it found that plus the 5,000th, plus the 1,000th, plus the 500th, plus the, plus the 100th, all in 41 seconds. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and then, so here it is. <laughs> it it, it uh, breaks cryptography overall, right? And then, so I guess the last thing I'll, I'll point out to you, like within this is like, uh, so being skeptic, right? Like, so the very first thing I, when I saw this, like I was like, oh, it doesn't, I, I would assume that it didn't work. And then, so like I treat Claude as like one of my skeptics within this because I like Claude as a model because he'll like be very direct, right? He's like, uh, I think you're you're a moron. <laughs> this isn't like gonna actually work. I'll do that a lot, and then so it's like okay. So the like, Claude's good for for that, and then so if you can get Claude to like actually agree that something's significant, which he does at the end here, then then you're in good shape. Uh, and then so like Claude's first argument is is that it's not a true universal prime function which would compute the nth prime directly without any searching, which is true. Like so, it's not a closed function, right? And then so argument being like okay, I think that you're talking about um, every single function that has ever been discovered in an existence. 
Um, so this falls under that same classification. You're presenting on like an unreasonable barrier. <laughs> That's your barrier, right? Uh, I just showed you that it breaks cryptography and it will solve primes to the 10,000th. I just showed you to the 10,000th in 41 seconds. You can go higher, right? Like take out some of those and then make it go to 100,000, make it go to a million, billion, whatever you want, right? It'll just take... Uh, few more minutes to, to, uh, to crack whatever algorithm you want to crack. Uh, and then so uh, Claude's second argument is that next prime is doing the heavy lifting and then which is uh, patently false. Uh, essentially, like next prime is just the like the checker within this, right? It's just reducing the error um, within the algorithm, like which is very true, right? Like this algorithm is uh, there's a video where I talked about how I learned math probabilistically, like as a child, like and and um, like especially like division, algebra, things like that. That's what this model's doing flat out, right? It's just saying like, uh, like, well, like I don't know exactly what the thousandth prime number is, but it's probably somewhere around like one hundred and thirty thousand. And then it like, okay, let's adjust from there. And then it, 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 so that's kind of what it does, right? And then it's very intuitive within that to me. Um, but then uh, Claude's argument is like that that the next prime function is then doing like the heavy lifting. No, it's just doing the checking of the heavy lifting. The heavy lifting is that that prediction and, and jumping forward, right? Uh, Claude's third argument is about accuracy that like, uh, well, we can't prove it. I mean, I haven't been able to like, I, I did it up to 10,000 in this instance. I've so I, and I run it 50,000 is like the most that I've run it and I, I've never had it. Ever, so you can do it higher than that. Uh, and then like, uh, so bottom line, uh, kind of like I feed all of this and I like go through back and forth with these arguments with Claude, even Claude and ends up agreeing that like, okay, it's like too like, uh, technically it's not a close, f uh, form prime function, but it doesn't matter. It actually solves in practice. Um, and then at the end of the day, I think that's like how anyone should reasonably look at this. Like if you look at this and you're like, Oh, it's not a close form prime function or <laughs> think, okay, I'm neither is Ryman's like, so, okay. Uh, it, it, and this is beating, right. It's like, um, put your 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 encryption on the line <laughs> against that right like uh okay it, it, like okay it's, it's not a closed form prime function like but do you do you want to trust your encryption against it now because it like um this will break it <laughs> and, and so uh pretty easy answer to me right like it, it works in in the real world so what does the theory behind it matter um and then i like to me i hope overall this uh, inspires people to like just think broadly about these things and then where these things come from, right? Like all of these like breakthroughs and these things that they always come from, especially within these mathematical breakthroughs, like from people that don't know that um, what is, what is and isn't possible. Okay. Because that's how that you actually solve it and, and, and you go through it. Um, and like um, that gets proven over and over again. Um, and then, so here we are. And then, so uh, as a society overall, I think it's completely backwards. Um, and then like um, that, all of this uh, exists, that Ash Kelly isn't the one presenting this overall, um, that uh, this is like uh, on GitHub as opposed to like uh, Steam or, you know, like uh, uh, like Pornhub or, you know, I'm just, you know, like just throwing those arguments in there because that's how I honestly view this. And so uh, I'll leave a link to uh, both the GitHub repository uh, and the, the paper here, which then links back to um, the um, collab. Uh, so you have everything here. Um, and then if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.